Well, good morning. Thank you this morning for joining me for a bit of time out. I was up here in the mountain and I wasn't really planning to do time out. I've got no gear, just my phone. But I just thought to share a message with you this morning as you take time out of your busy schedule. I want to say to you, God really loves you. He really appreciates you and he's got a great plan for your life. And if you're watching me this morning from a YouTube channel, please press that subscribe button. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you're watching from any platform and you share and you comment, what you are doing is you're helping me to change uh, social media from being a negative source in people's lives to being a positive source. And you know, time out and time out it is all about being positive and sharing the positivity. So I just want to say thank you to all you who do so. Well, I was wondering, um, why is it that we don't grow as people, especially if you're a Christian? What makes you not grow as a Christian? What makes me not grow? And um, why is it that sometimes when there's a frustration in my life, it may not always be negative. It may just be a sign that change is on the way. So don't go away. I'm going to say something about that. Well, welcome to Time Out. My name is Jack Vint. Yes, I'm holding my camera, so if it's a bit shaky, I haven't been drinking. Uh, I'm just holding it in one hand and sharing with you on this mountain top here with a cross behind, uh, just up behind me here. And, um, you know, when we have frustration, we often think it's the devil or somebody's against us. But sometimes it's a sign by God to show us that we need to change something. So frustration can be a lifesaver at times. I know it's frustrating when it's there and it's got no purpose. But when their frustration is there for a reason, it's to bring about change and to show me something is maybe wrong. And in, wrong in your life and wrong in my life. And um, I was thinking about why is it that we as people sometimes don't grow? Why don't you all sometimes don't grow? You feel you're not growing. And I want to share three things that I feel is very achievable, but you have to grasp them this morning and something that you can do. And uh, I'm just going to just speak about natural things. You know, um, the reason why we don't grow, the number one reason is we disconnect. And, um, and we disconnect in three areas. And I was just thinking about my own grandchild, uh, Ezra, a wonderful child that's just been born two months ago. How that uh, there are three things that he does all the time. But uh, for him to do it, he has to connect. And there's a reason why we have to connect, because when we disconnect from these three things, we feel that we don't belong. And perhaps this morning when you're listening to this, you say, Jack, I feel like I don't belong always. Maybe it's in my family. Maybe it's in my friendship group. Maybe it's in my church. Uh, and you may have disconnected. That's why you don't belong. And so just like an, a, a young child, when uh, I believe it's God's plan in his purpose, I know it doesn't always work this way for God, for, uh, for, for children to go home, young children to go home with their parents, uh, because that's the best place they belong. That's a sense of belonging. And they connect to their parents. And there's a strong bond when they're young to connect with their parents. And I believe it's God's way of doing it so that we can uh, really be the best people that we can be. And so, and the first thing that I find that this uh, grandson of, son of mine does wonderfully in the natural is he, he, he loves to connect with his parents, especially his mother. And I think it gives him a sense of belonging. And I want to encourage you not to disconnect. And maybe you've disconnected from your family or from friends. But you know, there's a spiritual home called the church that God wants us to connect with. I believe it's there for every single person because we all need each other. We can't be a law unto ourselves. God made it so that we need and we interdependent on each other. So don't disconnect from the church at, at least because it's God's, it's God's family. It's the, the body of Christ. And so that gives you a sense of, of belonging. The second thing that I find that uh, my grandson does well is he he eats a lot. <laughs> it's almost like he's always eating. He's always hungry, and it reminds me of so you know because that's why he's growing and he's really is growing because he's eating a lot. When we 
eat. It's like we consume the, the food we're eating is the word of God. The Bible says, I think it's in Psalm uh, 43 verse 8. I'm not 100% sure. or so I, I think it's Psalm 34 verse 8. Sorry. It says that uh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You know, the word of God is like medicine to us. It's like food. It's like nutrients. It's like vitamins to our soul. And so when we take the word of God in, we are really becoming strong. And maybe, you know, when we disconnect from the word of God, and I don't know about you, but there's so many things that disconnect us today. It's social media. It's pressure. It's life. It's family. It's, it's, uh, it's finances. It causes us to feel disconnected. And we stop uh, being connected to God's word and we stop growing. And we become frustrated. And it's God's way of showing us, Jack, get back to the word. It's God's way of showing you, get back to the word. And get connected to God's word again. Because then you will grow. And the last thing that you can do and I can do to grow is, of course, to rest. One of the things that Ezra, my grandson, does a lot is sleep. Every time I see him, he's sleeping. But they say sleep is good for a child because they grow when they sleep. And did you know that, you know, if you've ever had a tracking device on your arm, a Garmin, and you looked at uh, what it says it measures, uh, you know, you, all the exercises you'll do, you'll find that when you rest, you burn more calories than when you exercise. I know it doesn't sound right, but it's true. And so I really believe that's also in the spiritual realm is true. I'm not talking about being passive and lazy. I'm just talking about, yes, you can still walk. But instead of walking in your own strength, instead of me walking in my own strength and trying and doing it in my own way, I am now saying, God, I'm going to put a blindfold on called faith. I'm going to trust the Holy Spirit and I'm going to be led by the Spirit of God. I'm going to be led by you and I'm going to walk by faith. And that's going to take a lot of the stresses away of what I see and what I feel. And it gives me a chance to, to grow because rest causes us to grow. And when we rest in God, it's refreshing. When we get to the other side, we say, wow, I've traveled all this way, but I've been blindfolded. I didn't even know God took all that pressure because I was walking by faith. And so I want to encourage you, remember these three things. Don't disconnect because it makes you belong. Don't disconnect from, from, uh, from, uh, from the family of God. Don't disconnect from the word of God and don't disconnect from rest in God because you and I need it. You've been watching Time Out. My name is Jack Vint. I want to tell you God really loves you and I'm going to catch you next week.